Hey guys, so like the last minute Nancy that I am, I've decided that I want to go back to Ireland for a few days. Um, just because when I looked at my diary, um, I wasn't going to get home now for like a couple of months. I'm excited, but I've got like 10 minutes to pack my things and get in, get on my way, get on the train and get to Stansted Airport. Alright, I almost forgot that. That's crucial. I made it, I'm in my room. <laughs> my new bedroom that hasn't really changed much over the years. It's that feeling that um, you get when you realise that you're always welcome home no matter what. Which is like a really lovely feeling. Um, so it's almost midnight, hence why I'm being really quiet. And uh, I think the whole internet thinks I'm here for like a holiday. Um, I'm not. I'm here to be in the mountains and do some writing. Um, and free coffee, obviously. So I could feel something warm and it was under my blanket. And I wanted to jump, but I froze. And I grew up, the, mustered up the courage to reach in and find out what it was. And look at that. Someone put a water bottle in my bed for me coming home. <laughs> So this is what I gotta wake up to today. It's pretty. <laughs> it's not warm outside, but it looks nice at least. All the fields. Yay. So I just got off the phone with my doctor and I've got an appointment there for Thursday in the morning. Um, because one of the reasons why I decided to come home um, wasn't just get work done, it was to actually see a doctor. Um, and I didn't want to set off like these scary warning signs on the internet and freak people out because it's just a doctor's appointment. Um, but there has been something really concerning me and it's been my hip. Um, I was raised with that whole mentality of just don't complain, you know, try your best not to complain, you know. Um, so I haven't really been complaining about it but I would flippantly mention it and people seem concerned and I just, I'm concerned now because it's gotten to the point where I can't even walk anywhere. Um, like 100 meters, if I, if I walk 100 meters, I am in excruciating pain. And I haven't really told anybody about it apart from my mum. Because I seem like such a complainer. And it's just so weird to be like 23 and not being able to like, oh my God, I'm well up. But to be 23 and not to be able to just walk to the train station without being in pain it just seems like a lot um and it makes me feel really lazy and and then i put on weight because i haven't been able to work out um and because i've been sad i've been using food as a bit of a comfort um <laughs> because there's so much going on and and then not being able to look after myself really made me feel like i'm not um doing my self care and I'm like neglecting myself and whatever, oh my god. Um, but I think it's really, it's gotten really bad now because my joints are swelling up. Like they're swelling up and they're so sore. Like if I run my knuckle, ta like ow, <laughs> like there. If I tap a table with my knuckle, it's very sore. My joints are all inflamed and I can't walk. Um, and I made, I, I kind of worked through it, like I'd wake up in so much pain and it takes a while for me to get out of bed now, like it takes half an hour for me to like physically get out of bed um, because my hip is so bad. So I wake up and I automatically have to like adjust myself and just like I play it off as in like, oh it's me time, like I'll watch my favourite YouTubers for half an hour. Um, oh, I can't start my day without my me time. I literally can't because I can't move. Um, I can't rush myself. I can't just hop out of bed, you know. Um, it's so painful in the mornings. It's so sore. And that feeling of like being stuck in bed and like, I can't even, um, this is so embarrassing. I can't even just get up and go to the bathroom as soon as I wake up. 
and we all know the feeling of like really having to go to the bathroom and wake up it's like I really gotta pee but I can't because I'm in so much pain I have to wait for the pain to go down before I can go to the bathroom and it's just it's gotten too much obviously as you can see um I'm just tired of it and I want them to figure out what's wrong because it's a lot and I've been playing it now for so long too long and yeah it just sucks I want to do all of the things I want to be active I want to be physically well and it's starting to play into my mental health now where like I'm beating myself up for not being able to do all of the things that everyone else my age can do so I just want to know if it's what it is, why it is, what can I do to make it better? Like, what is going on? Because, you know, I try my best to look after myself to the best of my ability with the pain, and I just want to know where the pain's come from. So, yeah, that's a little update that needed to happen. So. And until Thursday, there's no point in worrying about it because nothing's gonna get solved between there and then. So let's get back to work and stop being such a negative not say, eh? Eh? All right, no, literally, work time. See yourself. <gasps> Look! Santa, sorry. Is that Janet? Yeah. And who's that? Me and Janet. <laughs> you and Janet. <laughs> That's really good. Mm -hmm. I want to take a picture of somebody's bottles. You want to take a photo of some of those bottles? Yeah? yeah. Alright, so I went to the doctor today. Nice wee early appointment. And I explained all of my symptoms, all the wee problems that have kind of accumulated over the years and now brought me to this point. Um, and she was lovely. I really, really liked her. It was very, she was very easy to talk to. Um, unfortunately, she did mention a few, well, one thing in particular that I was very afraid of, um, that it might be, uh, that she thinks it might be, but I still think it's, you know, slim pickings that it would even be that. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't want people to freak out, you know? <laughs> but anyway, um, she was lovely. We got, I got booked in the next day for my bloods. So tomorrow I'm gonna get my bloods done. Um, she pointed me in the direction of where to get my x-ray done. And they do walk-ins all week. Um, so I, I say I, my mum, <laughs> mum drove me to the hospital, the Gaiji hospital that's very nearby. And I went and I got my x-ray done. Uh, very quickly, I was literally, it's, they opened at like 12 and I was seen within a couple of minutes after 12. Um, it was really handy and the woman was really nice and you know, she respected like how shy I am about like taking my clothes off and stuff. So she like held up this like article of clothes and was like, just pull your jeans down and then I'll chuck this on top. Yeah. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm really awkward like that. So, um. That all went fine. I won't find the results of my x-ray until next week um, and I probably won't get my blood results either until next week. So it's kind of it's kind of nice that they'll both come back in around the same time. Um, I'm not in any particular rush really <laughs> to find out what they are um, and I need to get back to England but it was it was worthwhile even just coming back in to get all those things done in a day really like two days or whatever. So yeah here's hoping that it's not what I think it is. <laughs> Morning, it's half eight and I am just about to hop in the car and go get my bloods done. If you haven't already seen my trying to give blood video, you'll know how afraid I am of needles if you've seen it. And if not, I'm a whiny baby who's afraid of needles, basically. <laughs> so I can't wait. I'm excited, are you excited? I'm really excited. So I have already been to the doctor to get my bloods done, as proven by this plaster. <laughs> totally skin coloured. <laughs> um, it was alright, um, it was as scary as it usually is, and it was as daunting as it usually is, um, but now that it's over I am happy. Um, it was such a funny experience, so I, uh, I walk in and on the table there's somebody else's blood in those little vials, and I 
died a little bit inside because uh, my brain went, that's gonna be us. And I just, oh, freaked out a little bit on the inside. Um, to anyone who doesn't know or didn't see my blood video before, um, I do this really cool thing where when I get nervous about blood, I smile like there's no tomorrow and I look really chill, but I'm white as a sheet. So I was like, oh, everything's great, yeah, chatting away. And um, she had to call up um, the labs for a few of these tests um, because they were really random things that I'd never heard of before, neither did she. So she wanted to call up and double check that they were going in the right tubes so they could be sent to the right place and instead of me doing these tests and then having to come back and get more bloods done because they sent they were sent somewhere wrong. So she was lovely, very professional and really nice. Um, and there's a lot, a lot of tests. Um, a lot of tests for a lot of things. And a few of them quite scary. But in the past, any time I've gone for scary blood tests, they've all been fine. So I'm howling on to that mentality of, you know, they always say it's going to be this big scary thing and it's never the big scary thing. It's just my body is weird. <laughs> so I'm howling on to that hope. So when she sat me down and, you know, started taking the blood out of me, um, she she handed me a book. She was like, oh, you want to, like, here's a book to read. Uh, it's Where's Wally? Um, but uh, some kid's gone through and found Wally, uh, so it's, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I was dying, it made me laugh. Uh, and then she's chatting away, thankfully, because um, I'm not normally one to chat to strangers really, but I needed to talk to someone to distract me because I can't, I can't look at my arm when it's going on. I've never ever looked down when there's been blood taken, I'm afraid, because what happens if I pass out or something? I don't know. Um, so it was all done relatively quickly, got the blood pressure done and all the rest of it. Um, the bad news is I won't get these results uh, for quite some time actually, like two weeks, um, because of the nature of some of them being weird as heck and quite uncommon tasks. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer. So I'd probably get me, me scan before I get, or my like, x-ray before I get my bloods. So, who knows? Who knows? I just realised that it's Friday and this is literally all I got uh, because I've got to edit the video tonight to have it uploaded on time for tomorrow because tomorrow is the day that I want to upload this. So that's all I got. I'm sorry that it wasn't interesting. I'm sorry that nothing really happened apart from me working and doctors and stuff. Like, it's kind of kind of just the reality of my life. It's not very exciting at the minute. Um, But yeah, thanks for being here and actually watching this video. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry I can give you more. Um, you know, keep your expectations low so I <laughs> don't disappoint. <laughs> so it's good really some. Uh, but anyway, thank you so so much for watching and I hope you're having a happy, happy day friend. Bye!